Happy birthday, Molly! It's Molly's birthday. It's Molly's birthday. She's one. She's one year old. Isn't that amazing? We've had her for a whole year. Woo! Seems like just yesterday we brought Molly home from the breeder. I can't believe a whole year has gone by. I can remember it clear as day, guys. Clear as day. When I put her in the mule for the first time, she fell off that seat. And I was so foolish back then. I picked her up and I put a seatbelt around her as if thinking the seatbelt could hold her in. No way. There's no seatbelt holding her in because of all the bumps and the shaking, and she's a puppy. She's moving around. And that's how it all started with her hugging up against me to keep her balance. Sometimes she puts her, her paw on my leg, and sometimes she feels like she really wants to drive. She loves riding in the mule. Riding in the mule is one of the most favorite things for us to do together. Molly loves feeling the wind in her hair. Yeah, she's always licking at the air, smelling the air, looking around, enjoying the property. I'm enjoying the property and we're both enjoying each other's company. She's a terrific companion on any ride, whether it be a work ride or a joy ride. Molly definitely loves riding in the mule. Even though she's so huge now, she can hardly even fit on the seat with me. That first day was something special, I tell you. That's the day that our special bond began. And it's only gotten stronger ever since then. I had never even known what an old English sheepdog puppy looked like. I knew that they were shaggy when they were old because I've seen obviously the movie The Shaggy Dog and I've seen the Dulux commercials and you know, there's, I remember there's an old TV show. What's that TV show? Dennis the Menace. Have you really ever seen a cuter puppy than an old English sheepdog puppy? Oh my, so cute. We started Molly's training when she was just nine weeks old. I introduced her to the ducklings and then I introduced her to the chicks. That way she's going to become friends and think of them as family and want to protect them. She did very well with her training. Very bright dog. Super smart. She learned her name. She learned how to come. She learned how to sit. All in less than a day. She is incredibly intelligent remember the time i raced my puppy guys that was just about the last time that i was able to beat her in a race she's super fast now i have no chance you ever seen a puppy chase a ball playing fetch and then do tumbling when she gets to the ball hilarious let's go we have to go I'm serious now. Hey. I knew you were going to do that. How did I know you are going to do that? You're so predictable. Oh my God, you're walking in the muck. 
You're walking in the muck again. She's going to slip and fall, and she's going to get it all covered in her hair. <laughs> this is stupid. You're going to slip and fall in the mud. That's enough. Come here. You're crazy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Let's go. Let's go. Don't you bite me. Let's go. I'm serious. Out of the duck pen. <laughs> Oh my god, you're a mad woman! You're a mad woman! Get out! Get out! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You're all muddy! You're getting it all over my pants! You're getting it all over my pants! Get out of here! Stop it! You're all muddy! You got duck muck all over you! Oh my god! It's all over my pants! Look at my pants! Look at my pants! <sighs> Molly sure does love digging in the soil though, guys. And it's a bit of a problem. I've been trying to train her ever since she was a pup. I must have said no maybe 10,000 times trying to teach her. And I mean, it's a lot less of a problem now. But boy, did she like to dig. I don't even know what she's looking for. What's she looking for? Does it taste good? Does it smell good? Look at her. She's digging around in there like she's found like a pot of gold or something. <laughs> and crickets were another problem back then she loved chewing on the crickets she would eat the crickets she would chase them put her hands on them chew them up like they were delicious it's almost like it was a delicacy she's like mmm yummy a cricket she doesn't really do that anymore but uh, that was something she did when she was a pup boy. Those were the good old days. Ever since Molly was a pup, she would keep me company whenever I'm doing any kind of work around the farm. Whether it be planting some plants, digging some holes, um, could be servicing the ducks, getting them food and water, going into the chicken barn, taking care of the chickens. She'd be right there. She wouldn't be happy if she wasn't beside me. She keeps me company anywhere on the farm. Even in the snow, in the deep snow, going up into the woods to mark some maple trees. She's right by my side. It's almost like she's supervising me, you know? I mean, she's just keeping an eye on things, making sure I don't screw up anything on my projects. She's really like a supervisor. <laughs> I love her. God love her, you know. She's trying not to be annoying when I'm doing work, but I'm so patient anyways, and I love having her around. Any job I'm doing on the farm definitely takes longer with Molly around helping me, but I don't mind. Even if jobs take longer, it's fine. I love her. Molly, what's all over your face? Molly, what are you doing? What's all over your face? What's all over your face? Ha! Huh. <laughs> what have you been doing? Give me that. Give me that. You're supposed to be a pretty girl, not a dirty girl. Look at the mud. Look at the mud. Oh my God. Look at the mud. Look at it. That's all in her beard. Did you guys see the episode when Molly sees snow for the first time? 
Oh boy, that was a great episode. Molly sure does love the snow. She just runs around like Mad Dog Molly. It's just crazy how much she loves running around in the snow. Sometimes she sticks her whole face right into the deep snow. And then when she comes out, it's just covered like a Yeti. So funny. She shakes it off though. And you know, her hair has a water repellent quality to it. So it doesn't stick too much. But if it is packing snow, she does get those little snowballs stuck on her. Gotta let her melt out in the laundry room. Of all the dogs I've owned in my life, I have never had a dog that likes the snow as much as Molly. Honestly, she, she could stay outside all day long and she doesn't even mind. She loves it. She's really a cold weather dog though, guys. Look at her. She's just running around like there's no tomorrow. Unbelievable how happy and joyous she is in that festive season. I love it. It'll be so exciting this coming winter season to see her in the snow again. So nice to see her so happy without a care in the world. She just loves walking around, guarding the farm. She's like the queen bee of the farm, you know. I love her to death. So I just wanted to show you how big and strong she's getting and how hairy she's getting. Look at her. And she's so she's still so soft like a cotton ball. It wasn't easy getting Molly spayed, I tell ya. She was at that age, she already had her first heat and she needed to get it done, but boy was I ever worried about her. I think I called the vet three times that day checking in. And uh, she was basically with them all day. And when she came out, she was so groggy. She didn't know what was going on. But she made it out okay. I'm so thankful that it all went well. And she's good as new. Molly's so great with all the animals on the farm. But she has a special place in her heart for those kittens. Stormy, who we rescued and was wasn't very healthy at all. She kept licking her and licking her and licking her, almost as if she was like her mother. And to this day, even we brought little Smokey home and, you know, Molly really treats these two kittens like they're her own. I don't know if she knows that they're not dogs. Maybe she thinks they're just dogs. But Molly is definitely their mother, and the two kittens definitely look up to her, and they come in to snuggle in her long hair. I guess it keeps them warm. They love it. They all get along. They all love the farm, and it's an amazing thing to watch. So nice to reminisce and look back on some of these videos. Molly was so small and so cute when she was young. And she's grown into a fine young lady, I must say. She's not Mad Dog Molly all the time, you know. She's very sweet-hearted, very sweet-natured, very lovable, very cuddly, loyal. You can't stay mad at her when she does something wrong. She's a very, very good dog. She's always clowning around, too, you know. She's like a comedian you know and she knows it I think she knows that she can get a rise out of you you know if you get a chuckle or a laugh it makes her feel good she's always doing something so goofy to make you laugh I love it anyways makes me laugh makes her feel good that I'm laughing then you can't ask for anything more she sure is having a great life at the farm I'm quite certain that she loves the farm. Loves the farm. 
I can't say it enough. Molly and I sure did accomplish a lot in a year. And there's no turning back now. We're going to have a long and fruitful relationship. She's a great dog. She's a great friend. And she's a great companion. Happy birthday, Molly. I love you, kid. It's okay, you have a nap, kid, okay? You're all dirty. I just cleaned you up for your birthday, and you're all dirty. Okay, have a nap. Have a nap. Huh? I love you, kiddo. Happy birthday, Molly, okay? Happy birthday. Well, <laughs>